on Sunday at West Ham. Can they get the goals they need to fire them into the final tonight? It's not been a problem for Manchester City of late, and they've been in incredible form away from home. They lost their first two games of the season. They've won all eight in all competitions on their travels since then. So formidable opposition in the way of Arsenal tonight at Boreham Wood, where Arsenal play the majority of their home games. Teams have met three times in the final of this competition. City lead that particular head-to-head -head by two wins to one. Victors in 2014 by a goal to nil. Arsenal won by the same score in 2018 and City took it on penalties in 2019. Extra time and penalties, a possibility for us here tonight as well. Let's take a check on the two teams then. And Arsenal show five changes from the side held at West Ham. Sabrina D'Angelo gets the nod over Manuela Zinsberger in goal for her second appearance since arriving last month. Weinreuter and McCabe replace Maritz and Catley at fullback, whilst Palova and Cool come in to try and bolster a misfiring front line. Gareth Taylor makes just two changes to the side from that which beat Leicester at the weekend. Sandy McKeever has been the cup keeper for City this season and comes in for Ellie Roebuck here. Whilst in defence, there's a return for fit again Alana Kennedy, which means Steph Horton starts on the bench against the team she won this competition three times with. Incredible that it's taken until February for these two to have their first meeting of the season. It is always a significant matchup whenever these two face off, whatever the competition. But we are less than a month away now from the final of the Conti Cup. It will be at Selhurst Park on the 5th of March. Leo Williamson has played in victories and defeats in the finals of this competition against Arsenal. And she scored here against City. Uh, in September of 2021, when Arsenal were 5-0 victors. They take a 1-0 win tonight, I'm sure. But Williamson will be playing in midfield again tonight. Arsenal with significant injury issues at the moment. Bonnie Shaw, how they would love to have her in their side, Arsenal. She is in fantastic nick just now. 15 goals in all competitions. She's got a couple in the Conti Cup as well. Scored against Arsenal in a 1-1 draw in the league last season. Scored at this stage of the competition against Tottenham last term. <laughs> Abigail Byrne is our referee and we are just about ready to get underway. Under the lights at Boreham Wood. It's a very healthy crowd in. The game on Saturday is a sellout. So it's going to be Arsenal, of course, in red and white, going from left to right as we look at it in the first half to get the game underway. City in uh, traditional colours. Abigail Byrne just waiting for the signal that we can get the game underway. Nothing much to separate these two in the league table, only goal difference, in fact. The recent meetings between them have generally been pretty close to City have won 13 of the 24 fixtures between the side. Arsenal 10, only one draw in those 24 meetings. That was in the most recent game in January of last year. Gareth Taylor aiming to win this for the second season in succession. And before the action again, players, officials and coaches take a knee to reinforce the message that there is no room for discrimination in football or society. So it's Caitlin Ford getting the game underway. Mild-ish night for the time of year. And the first thing you can notice is that certainly Williamson will be playing in midfield, like she has done of late. She has lined up as part of Arsenal's back three. For Ryan Reuter. Expecting Jonas Ederval to do a bit of tinkering as he tries to get his team back amongst the goals. And that's the first indication that that is going to be the case. Here's Katie McKay back in the starting 11, having come off the bench on Sunday. City playing with such confidence at the moment. They had a really slow start to the season after all those high profile exits over the summer. They've certainly found their form in recent months. Arsenal only one defeat in their last ten in all competitions. That was in the Champions League. So two teams at or near the peak of their powers. 
West Ham and Chelsea playing tomorrow in the other semi. Here's Kim Little. Williamson looking for a fine Reuter. Alexandre got in the way. Castellanos, or Hasegawa rather, moving it on for Kasparai. Godal moved it out wide. Shaw is in the middle. Well, still struggling to get it clear here. the delivery it was a good ball into the near post well defended as well albeit at the expense of the first corner of the game which has gone City's way <laughs> Kelly feigned to work it short I'll say feigned she actually hit the corner flag Let's go short in the end. Well, maybe a better angle for the cross. City so taking their time to get it in. Eventually it is delivered. Here's Kelly. Got her first league goal of the season at the weekend. That's blocked at source by Katie McKay. Again, it's a good period of early possession for Manchester City. Kennedy moves it across one more. That's far right. Miss Kennedy missed most of the season for Lana Kennedy, so Gareth Taylor pleased to have her back amongst his ranks tonight. So now I bang that in hard up by Kennedy, goes away from a couple, and we saw that Kelly had some space. This is just too high for sure, for Angelo, oh she couldn't come and catch that, but it's a decent clearance, managed to get it to Little. Here's McCabe, too strong for Chloe Kelly. Cool, oh that's a lovely way to pass. By Reuters on side here, brilliant chance for Arsenal to take an early lead. And the keeper's equal to it. And Reuters, just the one goal this season. The defender, maybe not the person Arsenal would have selected this chance to fall to. She had plenty of time to set herself. It's a good save from McKeever with her knee. Trotted over to take that. Cool and Ford looking edge of the box here. Williamson and Rafaela always threats from these kind of set piece situations. It's aimed in toward Williamson. Oh, and City couldn't get it away, and then Ford had a swipe. Didn't get the power she was looking for. Well, Williamson must have been expecting the defender to get the touch to the ball there. City's long unbeaten run has been built in one sense on their prolific attack, but also at the other end they have been miserly. Only 
five goals conceded in this 16 games without defeat that they are currently enjoying. The keeper being closed down, but she's always confident. Look towards short, didn't win the header against Wilbur Moy, but it broke kindly for Castellanos. She can work it back to Makiba. Played in five of six now in this competition is Sandy McKeever. Manchester City drops into it after they were knocked out of the Champions League in qualifying. So they've got through the group stage. They won it with a 100% record ahead of Liverpool, Leicester, Blackburn and Sunderland and then hammered Bristol City 6-0 in the quarter-final a fortnight ago. Arsenal only played one game in this competition thus far. There's Jonas Edeval, who oversaw a 3-0 win against Aston Villa in the quarter-final here. But because his team made it through to the Champions League proper, they didn't have to bother with the group stage. He wants to focus on what happens on the pitch now, having made his feelings clear about Arsenal's failure to bring in a striker in January. Well, Williamson hit that at short. And it's actually hurt Bunny Short. She's down, but play's going on. It wasn't a head injury, so there's no obligation for Abigail Byrne to stop the game. Hemp's trying to bully her way back into possession here. Now the referee has spotted that Shaw's got a problem and is going to allow her to get some treatment for it. the treatment that she's getting this would be a serious blow for Manchester City were she to be unable to continue it does have a hitter on the shoulder but obviously stunned her she's still down receiving treatment from two of City's medical staff of course they will take no uh, unnecessary risks with her and when the Gareth Taylor bears an expression of concern an opportunity for, I was going to say him to have a discussion with his players, but it looks like they're leading the chat. Alana Kennedy in particular was under pressure at the start of the season, Taylor, after those couple of defeats. Let's have a look at this again. Bunny sure he's back up on her feet now. And this is the chance for Weinreuter. Could save that from McKeever. With a bit more conviction in the finish. Looks as though Shaw's going to be okay to come back and join us. He's been confused for a moment. Here's Marlon. Williamson. Alexandri immediately out to engage her. Weinwater doesn't really want to be facing her own goal and under pressure from three City players. She did really well to make sure she didn't lose the ball there. Nicely done from Little. Chance for Arsenal to move forward now. Cool trying to turn it around the corner first time. That was a good bad one. It's picked up by Van Reuter. Slip it into the channel looking for Pelot, but just asked a little too much of uh, City do concede the throw. Well, Arsenal definitely feeling their way into this game now after City started with plenty of possession. Score of Einwater, who's about to take the throw and who's had the best chance of the game so far. The stream came in from Hoffenheim just over a year ago. Here she is on the ball again. Sure. Break on here for City, she's got Chloe Kelly up there with her. Red and white shirts outnumbering blue at the moment. Good defending again from the Cape. A very solid start to the game. They play pretty much anywhere down the left gate to the Cape. The Cape's of duties tonight. And she will join in with the attacks as and when. Lovely from Pelova that. The crowd certainly appreciated it. Williamson and quickly to go forward and engage her. Pelova bringing in Weinreuter. She has a bit too much of Caitlin Ford. Ira 
Alexandra taking the throw, one of the summer signings for Manchester City. Big churn in their squad, eight key players leaving in the summer, and they needed to clear their heads from that. And it took them a while at the start of the season, which is why they're playing catch up in the league and why they found themselves in the group stage of this competition. Here goes Hemp, lightning fast, looking for the lob. What's a clever attempt from Lauren Hemp, just didn't get the height she was looking for. in terrific form coming into this game. Scored twice against Bristol City in the quarter-final. Got the winner on this ground in the league a couple of years ago, actually. D'Angelo had scouted that. See that Hunt was going to try and embarrass her. Alexandri. Greenwood. It's a poor clearing straight to Weinreuter. Here's Ford. Maybe trying to find room for a shot here, Caitlin Ford. City blocking that route to goal, but she found Weinreuter. Williamson can put it in first time. Oh, better of it with Hemp in close attendance. Well, after a sloppy clearance, it's good defending from City to push Arsenal back into their own half. Angelo a long way out of her area, and that's not a great clearance either. Straight to Angle Dahl, picked up by Shaw. Kelly wide right. She felt she was fouled there, but it was a good tackle. McCabe's ball, was she fouled? Not quite. Not at all. Here's Hasegawa. Now then, Kelly, has she stayed on side? Trying to get away from Cool, she's done that easily. In towards Shaw, it's just too high for her. And Palover should be able to get this clear. City having a bit of joy out wide, both with Kelly and with Hemp. Such difficult players to try and contain for any defence. Good skill from Palova. Wilbur <laughs> Moy switching play beautifully. Really good at that, not a Wilbur Moy. Here's Marnham. from Kelly. Okay, hopefully over her injury problems now. This is only her 12th appearance for Arsenal since March of last year due to thigh and foot injuries. She made a debut for the Gunners away to City. that back Greenwood oh, that's the charge forward to try and press and put some pressure on City's defence Alexandri oh, she's giving it away cheaply to Marnham and now she's scrambling to get back, and Marnham can get into the penalty area. It's a decent ball whipped across the face of the six-yard box, begging for a touch. The cable try and recycle on the far side, and she was only stopped from doing so uh, by foul means. It's a lovely ball whipped across the face of the six-yard box there. Any kind of connection from a red and white shirt. No doubt that that was a foul from Kaspar, right?
game. Williamson and Rafaela, two players to watch here. Six and two for Arsenal. I wonder if there might be a temptation to go for goal here. Certainly put it in front of McKeever and make her make a decision. This man who sends it into the near post. Well, everybody appeal him. Referee has a good think and then says goal kick. Ooh, the better quality delivery from Marlon there. She's well capable of it. Looking for Kelly and Rafaela at her back. Heavy landing for Kelly, but she's okay. And then boots flying between her and Marnham. It's Marnham who emerges with the ball. All this opening 17 minutes, but Arsenal have had the better of the chances. Lauren Hemp, the closest for City, but Vinewood's set with the outstanding opportunity of the game thus far. Here's Williamson, found a pocket of space. Worked it out nicely, left hand side from McCabe. And that's a decent ball as well, but the flag has gone up. Caitlin Ford had started to run a fraction too early. Castellanos. Greenwood looking for Hemp. Got her England teammate Williamson at her back. Spam up to halfway, but too much on that for sure to bother getting involved with. <laughs> Sabrina D'Angelo in the Arsenal goal tonight, one of the January arrivals. Mainly Swedish football, Canadian international. <laughs> Williamson. Reuter and McCabe offering genuine whip for Arsenal here. Fine water again, tight to the touchline. Here's Williamson. And now Shaw's managed to pinch it back. Trying to wriggle free of Kim Little. It's been a while since City had any kind of sustained period of possession. Maybe they can start that now with Alana Kennedy. Tassie Gower. The Wangle Dahl caught there. He's charged into uh, it was Wubben Moy. Play goes on. Here's Pelova. here is Hasegawa and she's been bullied off the ball by Ford and then helped out immensely by uh, Alexandri. Poor touch though from Kaspari and again McCabe not giving her a second to settle on the ball. It will be an Arsenal throw. Good defensive work from Kelly. Here's Hemp. Kelly into play. Good numbers forward in this city attack. Hemp will have it back. Space out on this left hand side for Alexandri. Hemp's carried on her run. Alexandri coming infield. Shaw making a movement for her now. Castellanos up there as well. It's Hemp again. Greenwood. Castellanos. 
Almost felt the challenge at her back. She was appealing to Abigail Byrne, but like I said, there was enough contact to warrant a free kick. Here's Marnham. Sagawa put her foot in and managed to do enough to put her off, but in Abigail Byrne's view, she did too much. It's a free kick. We saw his team have 21 shots at goal at West Ham on Sunday without managing to score. They had 69% possession. Whether it was always the plan to rotate tonight or whether it was a result of drawing a blank for the first time in a long time in the WSL. He has shuffled his pack tonight, Jonas Edeval. Five changes if you're late joining us. Antigen Blackstenius dropped from the front line. Here's Hemp. Away from Weinreuter. Elegant, effortless player dribbling with the ball at her feet is Lauren Hemp. much chance to cross halfway as the Arsenal fullbacks have so far. She can bring Shaw into play here though. They managed to bludgeon her way through Marnham's challenge. This is Alexandri. That's Barai. Kelly up against McKay. Kelly looking for a shot from distance maybe. She got it in as well and D'Angelo did really well to hang on to that. Packs and power did Chloe Kelly. Scored a brilliant goal at the King Power Stadium against Leicester on Saturday. As I mentioned, that was her first of the season in the league, but she's got her eye in, it seems. D'Angelo did well to hold on to that because there were City players waiting to pick up any potential scraps. And right on top of it. And well, Angledow has a go from distance. And this time, D'Angelo is not required to make a save. Midway point of the first half. Both sides have had opportunities. Still waiting for the first goal of the evening. Here goes Hemp. Powered the crossover. Too much on it for Kelly. Too much on it for everybody, as it turned out. I think he'll be relatively happy with how his side have started. Gareth Taylor. We have a couple of shaky moments in playing out from the back. Kelly looking for sure a really difficult one for her to bring under her spell dispossessed little is too wise to fall for that that's a gower Is Williamson. Brilliant eye for a pass, Williamson, and then Marnham moved it on nicely as well. And Arsenal could be in behind here. It's in toward Ford. And maybe she got a shout. She would have left it because it was bashed very hard at her. She couldn't bring it under control. Pilar was just behind her, ready to pounce. Now then, Hemp's found some space. Point to the penalty area. Castellanos and Shaw up there with her. Here's Hasegawa, and then Angle Dahl. Is there a deflection on that? No, just over the bar. Capable from that kind of range, Philippa Angle Dahl. Already got a couple of goals in this competition this season. A last minute winner at Leicester the other week. And here she was, what, a couple of feet over the crossbar. Hasegawa decided that she wasn't in a position to shoot. Angle Dahl more than happy to accept the invitation. Castellanos. Now finding Kelly. And McCabe quick to go and engage her. Yeah. 
Nice kind of got a trick to get across, and it's a good ball. Alexandri, here's Hemp. Trying to get away from Weinroy, it's a brilliant cross for sure. That was a difficult opportunity, trying to hook the volley. Brilliant play from Lauren Hemp. Shaw would have hoped to avert the goalkeeper, albeit maybe not expected. Sensational stuff from Lauren Hemp. Just behind her though, Shaw. Very difficult to hook that volley and keep it down. She might be in the game here, Shaw. Arsenal almost getting into a mess trying to play out from the back. Alexandri. Here's Hasegawa. It's a good spell of the game, this, for Manchester City. Greenwood arrowing on, looking for Hemp. Weinreuter got something on it, but Hemp will pick up the scraps. Castellanos making the run to the byline for her. That's brilliant defending from Leah Williamson. Hasegawa and Alexandri. Alexandri can bring it up to halfway. Castellanos. Greenwood finding Kasparai. Again, Kelly on the right wing, Hemp on the left, both offering some width. And looking for Kasparai again. And then the communication broke down. Rare ish for a forward for Kirsten Kasparai. The Dutch international side from Twente in the summer. Starting to get a bit more involved in the city attacks as the half goes on. to hold that out and bring Little into it. Spread out to McCabe. She hit it too hard at Marlon, but ended up being a good return pass from Marlon. Ruben Moy. Oh, for, trying to turn one round the corner for Pullover. will still chase after it and force Kennedy to put it out for a throw. found Hasegawa. Now Weinreuter, can she keep this in? Ford in the middle waiting for a cross. Good strength from Pilova to hold off Hasegawa. Here's Little. Well, they've almost managed to work it back to her. City struggling to get this away. Weinreuter again. Oh, beautiful from him. Now Weinreuter is going to try and keep pace with her, and that's easier said than done. Hemp going through the gears, and Shaw through the middle. She's played it to Kelly right side instead, and Kelly can get the shot off. And just about stays in the stadium. Maybe had a bit more time to take an extra touch or two then, Chloe Kelly. But again, it's Lauren Hemp who's at the heart of everything good that City are doing in an attacking sense in the first half. Really clever to get away from Weinreuter. Shaw would have been the obvious pass to play. But she saw that Kelly was in more space. Just that heavy touch there, maybe just took the chance away from her and then on the bubble as she hit the shot, which flew well over the crossbar. Short. Sure. 
head up to Castellanos. He didn't quite get enough on that. And we'll take, work it to Pelova, though. Here's Little. Captain Dice Little victory in the final of this competition against City. Got player of the match in 2018 as well. Short. Here's Hasegawa. Made the switch from West Ham in the summer. Trying to add some depth to that City midfield after it was shorn of so many of its key figures. Alexandri. Here's Angledar. And one on one with Van Reuter again in that time. Van Reuter defended it really well. Got to do it again though. Van Reuter quarter, but no free kick given. Somewhat surprisingly. Here's Pelova. Danger whenever she gets the ball. Ford just wanted that a bit more than Hasegawa. Victoria Pilova, having only just joined. She's already got a goal to her name against Leeds in the FA Cup. She may well have the key to unlock this City defence based on what we've seen in the opening 33 minutes. Now that was right in front of uh, Jonas Edeval and he made up the referee's mind. I think that that was an Arsenal free kick, right? He was too, for the challenge on Katie McCabe. card as well for Chloe Kelly now angle down in front of it there for the Angle Dahl. So Chloe Kelly having to tread carefully for the rest of the game. There's Williamson. Little. Pin one out left hand side from the Cape's a lovely way to pass. Ford making a run here, got to hold it though. It's come for cool. She was sloppy in possession, and Hasegawa wouldn't let her be. Ten minutes in the first half to go. I wanted a chance early on. The outstanding one of the game thus far. What can McCabe conjure here? Cross blocked at source by Kasparai. Right? Yeah, Rafaela. She might go into the book as well for that. It's pretty cynical. She's going to get away with it, just a free kick.
Well, this is the first of the two semi-finals. Tomorrow, quarter past seven kickoff as well at the Chigwell Construction Stadium. You can enjoy West Ham United versus Chelsea with us. Chelsea beat the finalists last season. West Ham looking to cause an upset. Here, we are no closer to finding out who is going to make it to Selhurst Park at the start of next month out of Arsenal and Manchester City. The keeper playing for touch. Gareth Taylor, a striker in his day, maybe that's why he couldn't catch it. Williamson. Oh, lovely touch off from Cool for Ford. Can she get the shot off here? Caitlin Ford. Well, she could, but she couldn't keep it down. It's good defending, actually, to deny her any clear sight of goal. This kind of pass that Williamson is so good at. And cool touched it off first time. And Ford, having got her body in the way, would have hoped to have kept it down. McKeever was right in front of her, which didn't help. Nor did uh, the presence of Greenwood putting her off. It's Barai clipping one into the channel. So I'm going to head to it. Williamson. Williamson joining the attack, Van Reuter out wide, came infield for Ford, tried to let it run through for Cool. Kelly. Ford trying to spin Alana Kennedy. Now Palova's joining the attack as well. Ford still massively outnumbered though. Let's give Little to take over. And Little can drive into the penalty area here and play it across looking for Ford and again any sort of touch. And Sandy McKeever would have been in real difficulty. It's not good defending from City, though, out only as far as Williamson. He tried to look from 20-plus yards and hoped that it had taken a nick off Lauren Hemp, but it's a goal kick rather than a corner. And this was the opportunity that almost came for Ford. Great driving run from Kim Little. Oh, and Ford just couldn't grow the extra inch to stick out a toe and turn it past McKeever. couple of nearly moments for Arsenal. And McKeever may be spooked going long. He's short. Short. Marlon back to goal from Angle Dahl, but you'd never have known it. She was the coolest person in the stadium. Long by Rafaela, and that's going to turn into a good ball for Ford. It's got Palova tearing up to offer some support. Cool as well. Ford going for goal herself, deflected Palova. Couldn't get to the loose ball ahead of McKeever. Maybe just an illustration there of the problems Arsenal are having in front of goal. Attack that opportunity with Total confidence, it seemed, Caitlin Ford. <laughs> oh, that night was Lauren Hemp by Leah Williamson. That'll get brought up at England training, I'm sure. Williamson. 
is Pilova. It's an ambitious pass, but perfectly executed out from McCabe. Alexandria had scouted that. with every challenge she makes now. And Miguel Byrne coming over to see what the damage is from the cave. Not showing any intention of showing Kelly another card yet, though. And it wasn't worthy of one. It was a foul, nothing more. Good running off the ball from Frieda Marnham here. Three in the middle in red and white to try and pick out. Went short to cool. Little's available edge of the box, and she tried to feed it into her too, but Sagawa was able to get the block. Shaw's managed to roll, Woven Moy. Still got three other players to get round, mind you. Oh, could have picked a pass there for Castellanos, gave it to Kelly instead. Kelly with McCabe in her way. Managed to get the cross in. And almost came for Castellanos, but Woven Moy and D'Angelo between them did enough. Hemp. Kasparai. Is Greenwood. So strong with a back to goal, even with Rafaela at her back, and the only way Rafaela could stop her was to bring her to the ground as we go into one extra minute at the end of the first half. be the last opportunity for somebody to score in the first half. Pinked to the edge of the box by Greenwood. Might bounce for sure. Nice and struggling to get it away. There's Lauren Hemp. Fizzed over the crossbar. Packed plenty of power but couldn't keep it down. Had a couple of decent opportunities in the first half, Hemp. This is pretty much uh, Arsenal's own making, really. Williamson dithering, got caught out. Hemp drove it hard, but always rising. Oh, 
Well, that is half-time. No goals between Arsenal and Manchester City in the first of this season's Continental Tires League Cup semi-finals. Both sides have had their opportunities. Arsenal with the best of them. Caitlin Ford and Laura Weinreuter as close as anybody to scoring. Lauren Hemp's had a couple of efforts for City as well. But as you would expect between two teams so evenly matched in terms of the league table, there's been very little between them in the first half here. At the break, at Boreham Wood, the score is Arsenal nil, Manchester City nil. It's Saturday lunchtime, but tonight it is all about reaching the final of the League Cup. Two teams who have dominated this competition. Only one can make it to Selhurst Park on the 5th of March. Picked it up though. A little then dispossessed. There's Hasegawa. Castellanos. Options through the middle and either side. She's gone left to Hemp. Shaw in the middle. It's come toward Kelly. Jumped a little too early for that, I think. Angle Dahl will keep it alive. Kasparai bombing up outside of her, worked it back in field to Kelly. Here's Angle Dahl again. We'll have a go with her left foot. Well held by D'Angelo. His handling's been immaculate so far. It'll be interesting to see whether she's been brought in to challenge Manuela Zinsberger to be the regular number one or just provide backup. D'Angelo, 29 years old. Which would mean, one would assume, that she would. Hard to be playing football more often than not. Cave okay, looking for Pelopa, but she let it run for Caitlin Ford. Gonna shrug off Kennedy. Got some support from McCabe. Not from Marnham here. Williamson. Clipped it in toward Ford. Oh, that was a really good ball. Just needed to be elevated by a foot or so. Williamson again. Cool turning it round the corner. Played in first time to four, but the flag was up. And had been raised pretty quickly. Side was the call. Referee's assistant on the far side. Flagged as soon as the ball came into the penalty area. She was short. It's a good effort from Ford. Keeper beating all ends up. Punched over, but no foul. As they have started the second half with some purpose about them. Space left hand side here for McKay. Might have got ahead up and saw it, but. Kelly intercepted the pass intended for her. Really good for Fayala to step back in and win the ball. Here's Little. City chasing shadows just at the moment. Fayala, first Brazilian to ever play for Arsenal's women's team. Stayed down against Ford this time. Got support from Pilova. Here's Marnham. Touch letter down. Know that the opportunity to take a shot was taken away from her. Little trying to force it through to Ford. Here's Little again. They're very congested in that middle area of the pitch. Fayella. Short. Referee was right on top of that and said that Shaw was clipped by the Brazilian in the Arsenal back line. It's been an interesting battle between those two actually so far. Open 
Kaspara into play. Bale got the head to the ball and he hooked it over his shoulder. Here's Ford trying to make it stick, couldn't do that. That's a good ball from Marnham. Oh, but again, the flag goes up. Palova looking across the line there. Probably ought not to have been caught offside in that position. Easy for me to say. Castellanos. Angudao. Here's Little. Oh, Romano will bring Arsenal the free kick. MBE for services to football in the New Year's honours list. Well, we've only had six minutes in the second half, but it already feels like it might be one of those nights where one goal is enough to win the game. And we will have extra time and penalties should they be required. Eva putting her side under pressure. And she's ended up giving it straight to McCabe. Here's Marlon. And she overstretched a little just for a second. What the referee was going to let play go on there, but she has given the free kick for the challenge on Dana Castellanos. Castellanos in some trouble by the looks of things. Wilbur Moy just overstretched there and caught the Venezuelan on the shin. for Wooden Moy, she's the first Arsenal player to be booked tonight. Joining Kelly on the referee's naughty list. Castellanos is back up on her feet, thankfully. It's a goal from the halfway line for her country earlier this season. Castellanos actually made her debut for Venezuela when she was only 14 years old. Well, City might be grateful of that little break in the game just to give them a chance to reset because they've been second best since the restart. They sure flick on them and Kelly in behind. Fayola was alert to that danger. Agudal. His hand. Again, Kelly Getting with her left, looking for Shaw. Too close to D'Angelo. Shaw being fed on scraps at the moment. And he'll be pleased with the start that his team have made to the second half. And being without a breakthrough goal. Oh, well, McCabe, she's managed to keep that in somehow. Well, she hasn't, according to the referee's assistant. Took a while to make her mind up. Angle Dahl, I think, helped her. McCabe's not convinced it was the correct decision. Yes, yes. 
as far up. Again, they're trying to get Shaw involved, but she just threw her arms up in frustration there, the City striker. Watching along like the rest of the spectators in the stadium for a lot of the game. playing out from the back but well, it's just about fine with him boy Williamson is ready for a switch there it's played into midfield to pull over instead that's a go up able to get the ball back off her now the cave space left hand side here if little gets her head up and she's again the cave for darting into the middle pull over's edge of the box as well To foot to take her away from Kelly. Here's Wubin Moy. Last one applying the pressure as we approach an hour gone at Meadow Park. over on the far side with the fourth official I mean that we're going to get a substitution before too long here's Castellanos got hemp to her left here is hemp moving away from Weimreuter she's done that how's the cross oh, it's a cross gun shot that left D'Angelo grasping at thin air and somebody got a touch on that because it is a city corner well, she was the star player of the first half Lauren hemp hasn't really been involved too much since the restart but this is another Symbol of her quality, easily away from Weinreuter. The goalkeeper must have got a touch to that. It's the second corner of the evening for City. short to Kelly managed to get the cross in and Shaw sure, trying to glance it on didn't really get enough on it sent back in by Hemp I still can't get it away oh, it's the side of the net rather than the back of it which ripples decent attempt on the volley Alexandri forward for the corner whip back over by Hemp good header away from Raffaella but unfortunately for her it fell to a City player wasn't a bad attempt by any means by Alexandria, but still we wait for the first goal of the evening. Fire. 
substitute on the way for Arsenal. Now, the keeper's come a long way from home to deal with that. That's really well read by the City goalkeeper. We haven't been able to get to that. She has just about. Up against Williamson, who just knocked her over. Well, that will be a free kick at the very least. Just barged over here by our England teammate. Oh, he took it right in the face as well. Well, other referees would interpret that differently. I hope would be there'd be no intent there from Leah Williamson. It'd be very out of character. But she definitely caught him with her elbow. on the bridge of the nose, that is a sore one. Oh, it's pretty astonishing if she gets away without at least a booking for that. Well, she's got away with that, Williamson. Okay, but they're down to 10 for this free kick, which Chloe Kelly is standing over. Goes into a really good area. D'Angelo fisted it up into the air and it goes behind for another city corner. And they won't make the substitutions, Arsenal, before they defend this corner. Or one would assume that they are going to make a couple of changes at the next break in play. And Blackstone is waiting to come on, but the corner's been taken short. And Kelly, oh, drove it all the way across the face of goal, and somehow it didn't go in. There was another touch from an Arsenal player. Now it's City turning up the pressure. All our own work, that Chloe Kelly. Could have been much closer without scoring. D'Angelo's been hurt in uh, making that save. to game. Oh, that's a lovely piece of skill. Cut back to Angle Dali trying to just flick it in. Yeah, got too much on it. Right, here come those changes then. It's a triple substitution. Well, Moyu has been booked. He's giving way. Maybe that yellow card has played a part in the Thank you for Jonas Edeval there. And Steph Catley will come on to take her place. Catley more than 100 caps for Australia. Regular starter for Arsenal. For the final half hour at least here. Palova's the next player giving way. And a really good first half, Palova. Certainly reason to think that she can add something to this Arsenal team over time. Nina Hurtig, the Swedish summer signing from Juventus, comes on for her. And Stina Blackstenius will take the replace, take the place of Catherine Cool. Blackstenius then maintains her record of having featured in every game this season. In fact, she's played in the last 34 Arsenal matches. Nine goals to her name in all competitions this season. So Jonas Edeval making the first move in terms of changing things. He's short, going to have a go, but he's short. Oh, my goodness me, that didn't miss by much. She really caught that. Well, she's hardly had a sight of goal, and she has done much service in the second half. Khadija Bunny short. And that would have been a terrific goal. Now McCabe, 
That is a absolutely critical intervention from Kennedy. Had options either side there, McCabe only had eyes for goal, it seemed. Well, neither Yannis Idavala or Gareth Taylor will be particularly keen uh, for extra time, but by the same token, they both want to make the final. How adventurous are these two teams going to be in trying to get it done in 90 minutes? Williamson's ball forward. Black Stanius gets her first touch of the evening. Here's McCabe again. Again, she's got a bit of space. This was brilliant to the back post, and Hurtic hits the bar. And Arsenal have done everything but score. They still might. Little. And that's deflected away. Uh, behind for a corner, but Lena Hurtig almost with the perfect introduction to the game. Excellent ball in from McCabe, this. Ford nodded it back across goal, and then Hurtig did everything but the one thing that she was trying to do. Arsenal could not go closer to taking the lead. Overcomes McCabe's delivery. Momentum swinging one way and then the other in this game. Just when you think that one team has got the game by the scruff of their neck, the other team has a spell of dominance themselves. Here's Ford. some of his assistants I would assume he will make his first change of the game before too long short sure. <laughs> Lianos spotted Kelly in space but overhit the pass he should be able to keep this in play though Angle Dahl's backing her up. Kelly having a run at Catley. Cross flicked away only as far as Shaw. Little made sure she couldn't get a shot away, but here's Hemp. And now Shaw again. Arsenal got to be careful with the challenges inside the penalty area. Kasparo. Catley making the run in behind McCabe here. Had the strength to bully her off the ball. And then Kasparo kicked away by Rafaela before it could reach D'Angelo's goal. Once again, the pendulum swings one way and then the other in this game. A really absorbing match. Had everything but a goal. And approaching the three-quarter mark of the 90 minutes. As it stands, we'll play for 30 more. There's Kennedy looking for a crossfield ball to Hemp. And not been able to find it. He's not exactly had much luck with the uh, cup draws this season, Jonas Ibevar. Manchester City in the semi-final of this. They've got Chelsea in the fifth round of the FA Cup in a couple of weeks as well. We hope for some luck in the Champions League draw when that's made on Friday. Here comes McCabe. This is Marnham. and can he go in for goal and once more D'Angelo's handling absolutely superb would have been really easy to let that squirm out of her grasp but she dabbed it down and made what looked a comfortable save meanwhile here's McCabe Hurtig
short. And just about managed to get away from Williamson somehow. Or was that a foul from Little? Yes, it was. It surely be a yellow card, therefore. Shaw's down in pain. That's the first thing to be checked. It's going to be a yellow card for Kim Little, and she can have few complaints about it. Sean's back up on her feet, albeit moving somewhat gingerly as we are inside the final 20 minutes of the 90. Bringing the effects of that bunny shore. <laughs> oh, she was aiming that at Kennedy, but she'd slipped. He's short. She had plenty of teammates up there with her. That's uh, an indicator of her frustration at how the evening's gone, I think. over the head of the defender and it skipped off the turf and through to Nakiba. Brian Reuters had it looking for Ford. Alexandri couldn't stop her from getting the ball across but Brian Reuters couldn't pick it up. Now then, what a pass that was for Hemp. Kelly in the middle here, Hemp might go alone. She's looking for Chloe Kelly instead, and she almost found her that. Was an excellent piece of defending to take the ball off the toe of uh, Chloe Kelly from Steph Catley. Make sure that it's just a corner for Manchester City. Lovely ball to start that off from Castellanos, and this is where Hemp excels. So good running with the ball, quality delivery as well. Takes the corner short. Here's Kelly. Asigawa. Drifting away from Rafaela. Not the first time we said that. Angle Dahl. Too close to D'Angelo. Couldn't get it over the head of Rafaela, but Hemp's given it straight to Rafaela. What the way round, I should say. Here's Hemp again. Castellanos. She's managed to get it back off Williamson. Here's Hemp. Reuter there with her. Hemp manages to squeeze it over, but too close to D'Angelo. But she has won a corner. Boston, 
Substitution number four of the game for Arsenal. And Laura Weinreiter, who could have scored early on. One of the best chances of the game so far. Noel Maritz will come on to take her place. That's the Swiss Centurion 100 caps for a country. Again, Rafaela and Williamson eyeing up an opportunity here. The cage delivery is usually pretty good. It's a really good header to get it clear, though. Asagawa wax it up to safety. Still no substitutions from Gareth Taylor. First of a pair of semi-finals available live for you on FA Player. Tomorrow we're at the Chigwell Construction Stadium for West Ham United versus Chelsea. Quarter past seven kickoff for that one. Those two watching on with interest, but no closer to learning out who they might face. Problem here for Alexandri means there's a hold-up. gives the players the opportunity to get some refreshment and a word of encouragement from their boss. Still time for somebody to win this game without the need for extra time. Gareth Taylor always pretty cool on the touchline, never see him ranting and raving. Getting his instructions across in a measured way. See whether Alexandra is going to continue. And it's worth taking the risk. They are making a change now, City. It is Alexandri who is the player who gives way so that Leila Wahabi can come on and take her place. Should be a like for like swap that for Harvey. More than comfortable at left back. So City do make their change, but it's one that was forced upon them. Fayala. What a beautiful pirouette away. She'd have been in trouble if she'd lost that to him, but full of confidence. Deflected, but it's run nicely for Black Stenius. Foul on short. But on the end of some rough treatment tonight. It's a compliment in a way, I suppose. They know what a threat she is. Yeah, it's a yellow card that's been shown. 
to Rafaela. Greenwood thumps it forward. Haven't got the flick on, but only to D'Angelo. She needs. Kelly puts it in though. Good header away. Not as far as Hasegawa. She couldn't get it under control, but Arsenal couldn't get it away. Here's Hemp. Trying free of Maritz. Inside the final 10 minutes. Are we going to get a late twist here? Or will we play? For 30 more, and there may be penalties too to decide who makes it through to the final. coming up for us, but not quite yet. Yeah. The change can be made. Neil Williamson is going off, and Jem Beatty, who started for City in the 2018 final defeat against Arsenal, and in the 2019 win, comes on to take her place. Penalised there, she's not sure why. You can see what she thought happened. the most likely source of a goal tonight, I wonder. Okay, Rafaela up there. And from Marnham, not a good delivery. Maritz pumping it back in the direction of the City penalty area. Head away as far as Hurtig. Marnham again. In toward Black Stenius. It'll drop for Hurtig. Put off just as she went to strike it. Here's McCabe. And Black Stenius on the turn. And somehow McKeever smothered it. And then it was whacked to safety. Arsenal's so close. They've looked the more likely in the second half. Their chances have been clearer than the City ones. Here's McCabe. of the box. City struggling to get it away. Some appeals for a penalty, but maybe from crowd rather than players. Yeah. 
Max Dennis. Ford has to accept the throw, took it quickly to Maritz. Here's Ford again. That's not much to aim at in the middle. Hertig's there though, and Hertig nods it wide, and that was a glorious chance. Well, she should have scored at least once since coming on. Lena Hertig inexplicably heading wide, totally free, no more than eight yards from goal. After she hit the crossbar almost immediately after coming on. Brilliant cross that from Ford and Hertig has got to score there. And in the end it was a way wide of the post. Still coming on strong. Still Marlon, she'll let fly. Straight down the throat to McKeever that time. Well, Arsenal looking by far the more likely to win it. As we head towards extra time. Feels inevitable at the moment. Arsenal have done everything but score in the second half. Here's McCabe. Nudged over by Kelly. Remember, she was bought very early on in this game. And if Abigail Byrne did forget that, the Arsenal fans are making sure that she remembers. I think it's just going to be a conversation rather than a second card. But that is very much final warning for Chloe Kelly. It's one of those. Had she not been booked, she might well have got a card for that. Best part of 1800 inside Meadow Park tonight to see it. Pause in play here because Alana Kennedy needs some treatment. Now, there was a uh, shout for a penalty from the Arsenal supporters a couple of minutes ago. Let's have another look, see if there was any credence to that play. It's Greenwood into the back of Ford, but not enough there to give a spot kick. Katie McCabe announces the player of the match. For City, lots of players have needed treatment, particularly in the second half. I'm not going to make a couple of substitutions. changes while they're defending this free kick or are they going to wait you would suspect they will wait they are going to do it now because Kennedy can't continue well, not a bad replacement to bring on Steph Orton the former Arsenal player he won this three times in successive years with Arsenal, the Conti Cup. And Chloe Kelly walking the tightrope while Gareth Taylor's decided to take her off it. Naomi Rasso, who scored four times in this competition already this season, comes on to take her place. kick then. McKay with that one with the left boot, he sent it in and the header straight down the throat of McKeever. Good delivery this, right onto the head of Steph Catley. Couldn't get the power she was looking for. We've got seven minutes of stoppage time, plenty of time for somebody to find a goal. We might get more now because McCabe is the latest player to be down with her.
beat it. Well, got away from McCabe. Feels like a while since City have had the ball. Here's Kasparai. Touch off for Hasegawa from Rasso. Hasegawa looking to switch it out to Hemp. Didn't get enough height on it. Now Blackstenius on the chase, and she's favourite to get there. She's going to have to do this all herself, Stina Blackstenius. Trying to chop back inside to find an angle for the shot. And that is a player who is lacking a bit of confidence in front of goal. Beating. Has to want to get this done without the need for extra time. McCabe. Here's Hurtig. He's cut back into a great area. Collision off the ball there, involving McCabe. Referee happy for play to go on initially. And now she feels that the players need treatment. Accidental, I think, between uh, Rasso and McCabe. So I had a little look over her shoulder, but I don't think she looked over the shoulder that had McCabe lurking behind it. Well, no such thing as a contested drop ball anymore, of course. And Arsenal in no mood to hand this back to their opponents, and you can understand why. Beating. Still got... Four and a half minutes and maybe a little more to play. As it stands, maybe another 30 on top of that and maybe a shootout as well. Oh, that's a lovely pass to McKay, trying to touch it off first time for Hurtig. Kasparov read that intention. Them well to find McCabe. How's her cross? Oh, it's deep to the back post. Oh, and McKeever's lost it, and surely Black Stenius can turn it in. How on earth has she not scored? And then a swing and a miss from Little. And Sandy McKeever is the most relieved person inside Meadow Park. If Arsenal don't win this, Jonas Edeval will be livid. They've had so many chances to score since half time. And not just half chances, big, big chances. Hurtig and Black Stenius between them since they've come on could have had a couple each. You can see why they didn't start this game. McKeever made a right mess of that, dropped it right at the feet of Black Stenius. It's good defending actually from Alex Greenwood to get in the way. But McKeever should have been given no chance. A wrestle. Uh, the referee is going to go to a pocket again here and book Lauren Hem. Not too much subtlety about that challenge on Maris. This might be the last chance for either side to nick it. It's a free kick from deep from Marnham. Oh, there's a clash of heads. Well, we might get half an hour of stoppage time, never mind extra time at this rate. We 
Wood, the player everybody's concerned about. She painted the back of her own player, maybe. So we're going to have added time to the added time. They're standing comfortably because they're going to be here for a while longer. Well, the good news is that Green has been helped back to her feet. Come back on and continue. I think we've probably got two, maybe three more minutes to go as we reach 97. Here's BT. Any goal now wins it. Beating. Catley. Here's McCabe. It's a lovely clip ball from BT out right hand side. Maritz playing it down the line for Marnham. Marnham trying to find Black Stennis in the middle, but it will be a corner to Arsenal. Well, we're playing at the referee's discretion now. For players bunched around the penalty spot. City need to be switched on here. Black Stelius got ahead to it, and it was catching practice for McKeever. That might be the last chance for somebody to win it without the need for extra time. And indeed, we will need at least an extra 30 minutes to decide who makes it through to the Conti Cup final in 2023. The holder's still in it for now, Gareth Taylor's team. They withstood a real battering from Arsenal in the second half there. But at full time after 90 minutes, it's Arsenal nil, Manchester City nil. Well, Jonas Edeval. Now, with the opportunity to do another team talk. Who has got the stomach for the extra 30 minutes here? Well, they'll know each other pretty well by Saturday's game, won't they, these two? Let's have a look at some of those chances from the second half, then. McCabe's been excellent, no wonder she was named player of the match. That was a great ball to the back post for Hurtig, just off the bench, who thundered her shot off the crossbar. Really should have scored here, inside the six-yard box. Quality delivery from McCabe, and Ford did well to send it back across goal too. But Hurtig doesn't need me to tell her that that should have ended up in the back of the net. And then this was an even better chance for Hurtig off the bench. That's a shocking miss. Again, she knows it, but my goodness me, it's got to go on target. She started against West Ham at the weekend and didn't score on the bench tonight. And had the chance to score there. That was McCabe's cross, which was dropped by McKeever, and Black Stenius made a mess of trying to turn it in. Arsenal substitutes could have won the game for them. a couple of dodgy moments with the handling, that was the worst of the lot.
And City already ready for the first period of extra time. A reminder will go 15 minutes each way. If nobody scores during that time, it will be penalty kicks to determine who goes through to the final. just conducting business with the respective captains as to who will start at what end. going to be Arsenal to get us started in extra time. Stina Blackstenius had a chance to win it in normal time. She'll get the first period of extra time underway. Here's Rafaela. Each coach will start to think about who's going to take the penalties for them. Might already have it planned, of course. on the chase here. Here's Little. Oh, didn't get enough weight on the pass to bring Maritz into play. And twizzling away from her, and a little tug of the shirt from Maritz. And Maritz is going to get booked for that. Referee pointing out it's not her first defence. it forward it's turned into a really good pass for Hemp and turning inside to get away from Maritz who knows she can't touch her now and Hemp couldn't link up with Castellanos they weren't on the same wavelength that's a gallop Greenwood always almost had one touch too many either side of her, she's gone for her tick. Blackstenius, 1-0 Arsenal. It's taken them all of two minutes in extra time to make the breakthrough. And it's Stina Blackstenius off the bench to put Arsenal ahead and plant one of their feet in the final. City guilty of dwelling on the ball. Marnham was direct. Hertig across to Blackstenius, and she did the rest. And is that the goal that sends Arsenal to the final? Wasn't the cleanest of connections, but it ended up in the net. That's all that matters. Well, how often does that happen? This game was probably 100 minutes long of normal time. We didn't get a goal. We played for two minutes and 30 seconds of extra time. And Stina Blackstenius makes the breakthrough. 
City looking for an immediate reply, though. Oh, Black Stennis will be feeling a lot better about life having missed that golden opportunity near the end of the game. Takes her into double figures for the season. Sagawa, goalkeeper came through a crowd and didn't get there, and it's loose. Bought it. Hemp. That's brilliant footwork from Hemp. On she goes. Nice cut back as well. Sure missed it though. Sagawa. Castellanos. Gasparra. A good response from City. as well but again Rafael is there been excellent the Brazilian in the centre of the Arsenal defence tonight Horton in behind here City sure waiting for the cutback it was a shot instead which was beaten away by D'Angelo it's a poor clearance though Angle Dahl here's Wahabi and then Shaw on the turn Again, the fail is there. She's had such a good game. <laughs> this is the opportunity a moment ago. Great run from Rasso. Felt she could score herself. Easy to be wise after the event and say she should have cut it back. Didn't have much of the goal to aim at. Bang on target, though. For the umpteenth time tonight, we've got somebody down receiving treatment. It's Katie McCabe. He did have a little stretch out just towards the end of the game. I wonder if she's maybe pulled something. She was hoping at that point that it was cramp. It still might be. Risk trade this evening. It is decidedly chilly. <laughs> City going to make another change in a moment. Uh, need for a goal is urgent. We've got more than 20 minutes of extra time to go. Here's Hemp. Sigawa. Wahabi. Castellano is finding Hemp. From teasing merits, man, has defended it really well.
caught it. And put it in first time. Shaw teeing it up for Castellanos. And D'Angelo knew that would have been a corner had it gone, so she did well to grab it. Stenius. So attacking change this with a attack minded midfielder coming on for a defender. Laura Coombs has just signed a new two year deal to stay at Manchester City. Coming on to play against the team where she started her career. through the really good defensive shape about the Gunners. It's Wilton again, Greenwood rather. Great back from Wahabi. Greenwood. Nearly there, he won't be allowing himself to think about the final yet. Three minutes of the first half of extra time to go. First time Gareth Taylor's looked anxious all night. presence in the Manchester City midfield. Ford had a hack at Castellanos. Oh, lovely scooped over the top ball from Angle Dahl and across the face of goal it goes. Well, that would have been a great goal had Castellanos managed to get the flick on. that from Angle Dart. Also controlled it on her chest, bashed it across the face of goal and Castellanos, it was just behind her. Trying an audacious back flick. It's been goal of the season if that gone in. a decoy for the goal kick. And 
Nadal. It's opening up for the shot. Oh, it's a really good save from D'Angelo. They backed off and backed off and let the shot come in. And the Canadian between the posts for Arsenal tonight. That's been perfect to this point. Angle Dahl. He's had a couple of cyclists from that kind of range. That's as close as she's come all night. Greenwood's delivery. Fayella there again, only as far as Coombs, though. Here's Hemp. Teammate to push up field. Here's Horton now. So we're going to one extra minute at the end of the first period of extra time. Horton clipping it up to the edge of the box. Coombs. He's angled out. This is Hemp. That's a decent cross, and again, D'Angelo's able to come and claim. There's been lots of contenders for player of the match. Katie McCabe got it. Sabrina D'Angelo was a contender too, I'm sure. time and it took just two minutes into it for us to finally get a goal tonight it came from Stina Black Stenius the substitute turning in after good work from Marnham and Hurtig means that at half time and extra time it's Arsenal 1 Manchester City 0 well it's an appeal for calm I think as much as anything else from Jonas Edeval at this time 15 minutes away from booking their place in their first final of the season are Arsenal. And it would be a terrific win against a team who came into this match unbeaten in 16 in all competitions. now or never for Gareth Taylor has he got the magic formula to get his team a goal I wonder City forced the issue then. Yenis Edeval, is he going to play the second period of extra time? He's making sure that Jem BT thoroughly understands the message. Well, no excuses now for the Arsenal defence. Right then, can City get an equaliser to take us to penalties or will Arsenal see the game out? Special Greenwood looking for Rasso. It's 
squeezed it through for Angledal. Break for Hasegawa. He's short. Greenwood. Short, sure, lovely chest off. Okay, with a curious sort of a clearance. Picked up by Hemp. Managed to get the cross in. Beatty got ahead to that one. Danger's not passed yet, though. And then Beatty again to the rescue for Arsenal. That's a clever first time ball into Coombs. She couldn't make it stick though, and Marnham can get Arsenal going the other way, only to relieve the pressure. Here's Hertig. Black Stenius wants it played early. Not really enough weight on that pass, but Black Stenius has picked it up. You can understand why Arsenal aren't showing a great deal of attacking intent. As long as they keep the ball, City can't score. A risk there forward by Maritz, though. Might run for Black Stenius. This and she keep it in the corner flag for 10 minutes. He's forward. Marnham wants the edge of the box and gets it and has a go first time. She put her head up, she would have seen that Hertig was in a decent position, but she felt she could score herself. to keep that in play. Arsenal can't be giving away position, possession cheaply like that. Norton. Greenwood. over 10 minutes for Manchester City to save themselves here as it stands. Steven Black Stenius has goal. Two minutes into extra time. He's going to send Arsenal through to the final at Selhurst Park next month. Here's Ford. Dispossessed by Hasegawa. first time and yet no doubt that the free kick was the only option there where Harvey whacked to the ground yeah. 
Hurtick. Oh, under pressure from Hurtick. Greenwood, rather, she's done well. Here's Hemp. Beautiful balance about her, Lauren Hemp. City are going to make another change at the next break in play. BT and Catley got to sort it out between them. It's just a throw in. BT's been hurt. Another change for City then. Salita and is giving way. It's Mary Fowler, who scored four times in this competition so far, including in the quarter-final against Bristol City. Had started every game, actually, in the Conti Cup this season before tonight. She hasn't got long to show her boss why she should have been in from the off tonight. Greenwood. Hemp was the intended recipient, and it's come her way. Stenius. Here goes Caitlin Ford. City have created a chance worthy of the name, and they got one more in them to take this tie to penalties. It's Fowler's ball, picked up by Coombs. Greenwood. Or Harvey. to post in extra time. Perhaps Dennis on the chase here, but that's too close to McKeever. So maybe just trying to knock it off a City player and out for a corner. Five minutes to go. Beating. And has she kept that in? Arsenal don't think so. She was caught afterwards. Been some pretty spicy challenges in this game.
think it was Caitlin Ford who got the book in there. She's still injured, you can tell. Here goes Fowler. Short. Fowler to hit it. Straight into Rafaela. Castellanos trying to pick up the pieces. Castellanos moving it on. Bent in by Rasso, but nobody following it up, and D'Angelo gratefully drops on the ball. I think Hemp just kicked the ground there as she went to pass it. She had just been fouled. Whether it was uh, the effects of the previous tackle or... Well, we can find out now. Stumbles there, and yeah, I think she just tweaked something, didn't she? And then she went to kick the ball. See if she's able to continue, but City will be loath to lose her for any extended period of time. Remember, they're going to do it all again up in Manchester on Saturday in the league. seven minutes of stoppage time at the end of the 90 minutes okay. more than the one that we got at the end of the first period of extra time here I think Challenge. And unfortunately for her, it breaks a City player. Here's Castellanos. See how fit Hemp is. Played it short. Castellanos. A oh, break on here for Arsenal. If Hertig can get this under control, Horton went to ground and won it from her. Whipped in by Wahabi towards Shaw, just over her head, and then at the back post. So close. To an equalising goal. McCabe's been hurt in blocking it. Teasing delivery in from Wahabi. Really good ball, that just too high for sure. McCabe's off the pitch. Miguel Byrne helping her back to her feet. It's been a long night but they are almost in the final. Angelo, no rush to get this forward. All eyes on the fourth official to see how much added time there'll be. City's time is almost up in the Conti Cup. Hemp. Coombs couldn't get it under control. Beatty up into the air. Horton. Greenwood. Final two minutes of this game. Asigawa, Castellanos. And again, Hasigawa clipped in towards short. Beatty got ahead to it. Clearance hasn't got the job done there. This is Lauren Hemp. In with a right foot. Oh, what a teasing ball that was. There's not much more that Lauren Hemp could have done. 
in this game. Going to be a rare blank for City by the looks of things, and their 16-game unbeaten run in all competitions is now seconds away from coming to an end. Great flick on one by Blackstenius that forces City all the way back to McKeever. A minute to go. City's need is urgent. Here's Wahabi. Castellanos. Hemp. That's it again, Lauren Hemp. She'll be sore tomorrow. Pumped up toward Black Stanier. She just needs to keep hold of it. Surely Arsenal have done it now. Has to go forward right now. Out to Hemp, but she couldn't keep it in, and that will probably be that. It's been a valiant effort from Manchester City, but in a game where there were plenty of chances, it's Arsenal who managed to stick one away. Still going, I'm afraid, Jonas. That's it, Arsenal are through to the Conti Cup final for 2023. They needed extra time to get past Manchester City, but Stina black is the match winner. A really closely fought game. Both sides had opportunities to get it won during 90 minutes, never mind 120, but two minutes into extra time. Black Stenius with what proved to be the decisive moment of the match. You'd never know that Jonas Edeval has just made a cup final, judging by his reaction. But it is Arsenal who go through to face either Chelsea or West Ham. They will play tomorrow. Edeval not happy with the officials but happy with his team because they are through to the Conti Cup final for 2023. Heartbreak for Manchester City. No repeat of their success in last season's competition. The holders are out at the semi-final stage, having come through the group stage. It's taken Arsenal just two games to reach the final.